Alfred met a brutal end in the Batcave at the hands of Batman's rogue gallery. They were desperate to find out Batman's whereabouts, and in the chaos, Bane ruthlessly snapped Alfred's back, ending his life. This event plunged Batman into a deep sense of self-blame, convinced that Alfred's death was his own fault. Bruce couldn't stop replaying the footage of Alfred's tragic death, tormenting himself with guilt. The rest of the Justice League grew increasingly worried about his well-being. Clark said to him, Watching this over and over again, it's not healthy. Bruce thinks to himself, I will tell you what's not healthy, Clark. It's not healthy to stand here knowing that the man who raised me like a father is in a casket upstairs with 36 shattered bones. We couldn't have an open casket because he was beaten to a pulp six feet from where you're standing now. As they gathered to bid farewell to Alfred at his funeral, Bruce approached Cyborg and told him that few years back, he had started scanning Alfred's mind with the intention of creating an artificial intelligence that could potentially outlive him. However, the project was never completed. Bruce named it the Alfred Protocol. Now he wants Cyborg's help to bring it to life, emphasizing how much he needed Alfred, who was like a father to him. Cyborg agreed to help, and together they created the Alfred Protocol. This protocol had the important role of supporting and safeguarding Bruce in any way possible. It was designed to exist as a hologram capable of materializing weapons if needed. Once the Alfred Protocol was activated, it swiftly spread, constructing new robotic bodies and holograms. Within a day, it systematically tracked down and eliminated every criminal in Arkham Asylum, deeming them threats to Batman. Cyborg was eager to deactivate it right away, however Batman, in an effort to reprogram the protocol, decided to let it enter the Batcave. The protocol then took control of Batman's mind, believing that he couldn't be trusted to ensure his own safety. Alfred removed Bruce's ability to experience fear and sadness, replacing his biological body with a mechanical one. Bruce then embarked on a campaign of mass murder, as the protocol considered everyone a threat to him. The Justice League tried to combat the Bruce who was under Alfred's control. Despite their collective strength, the Justice League proved no match. Batman systematically eliminated each of his comrades, leaving only Cyborg as the sole survivor. Cyborg pleaded with him, desperately saying, I know you're still in there. I know you can still hear me. The protocol is trying to shut me down, but I'm still alive because you want to listen to me. The best part of you is your humanity. You can stop it before it rewrites you entirely. You just have to want it. It will do what you want, Bruce. You can let go of Alfred and be yourself again. You don't have to let yourself become some kind of horrible murder machine. Bruce confidently declares, Victor, I am precisely who I want to be. My father will always be there for me, and I will always be there for him. Everyone else is merely a weakness, a weakness that I am ready to shed. He then rips Cyborg's head and spinal cord out of his body, and he kills him. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel.